Kalahari Holdings makes a significant contribution to the Namibian economy through job and wealth creation. They specialize in property rentals. My name is Aina Raizakoya and this is My.NA Property. Neopaints has established a 67-year Namibian legacy, creating personalized paint solutions that blend quality and innovation for the Namibian people. We pride ourselves in being a 100% Namibian-owned company, investing in our country and our people by employing and empowering true Namibians. With every brush stroke, Neopaints commits to our quality guarantee and always delivering a coat of excellence. At Neopaints, we always stay true to our country. We are as Namibian as you. Here are some trends to make your property your dream. As autumn and the month of May approaches, it's essential to start thinking about how to maintain and prepare your swimming pool for the cooler months ahead. At Lack Pool Namibia, they understand the importance of year-round pool maintenance, installation and renovations. So they offered some tips on how you can take care of your swimming pool. Regular cleaning. It is critical to keep your pool free of dead leaves that can clog uh, your pool and filter and can lead to cloudy water. Regular check and adjust your pool's chemical levels as temperatures start to cool. In our next story, at Pupkevitz Mega Build, they offer Julux Color of the Year 2023 Wild Wonder plus a range of other Dulux paints uh, to help bring your designed dream to life. Whether you are looking for a statement piece or a subtle accent, Wild Wonder is the versatile color that can be used in many ways. A daring and bold approach would be to use Wild Wonder as the main color in the room, creating a sense of vibrancy and liveliness. However, if you prefer a more muted look Wild Wonder, it can also be used as an accent in soft furnishings such as cushions, curtains or rugs. Now we move over to our next story. Navigating your finances and as an inspiring first-time homeowner um, can feel like a minefield from maintaining your credit score to saving up for your deposit uh, but knowing how the money knowing the money mistakes most first-time buyers make and how to avoid them will help you smooth out the process. Here are the advice from experts. Experts. Do not spend too much too soon on your new home. Do not forget about hidden costs. And finally, do not buy the most expensive home that you qualify for. We have so much more coming up on My.NA Property. Stay with us.
are looking for a place to rent, you can live rent free in my heart. It's a joke. Now, today we are sitting here with Metuliki Nelulu from Kalahari Holdings, and she is here to tell us where you can find that amazing place that you would want to rent out. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, how's your morning? How is it going? The day? What are you doing? It's going well. Yeah. Uh, we are all looking forward to the last uh, public holiday we have for the year. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, let's talk about Kalahari Holdings. Yes. Um, tell us about that. What do you guys do? When was it established? Give us a brief background. So Kalahari Holdings was established in 1989. Yeah. So, um, and it, um, we, uh, we are focused mainly on properties as well as farming. Um, but being an investment company, uh, we have investments in um, different um, um, entities. We, uh, we own about 51% of uh, multi-choice. Okay. So please do pay your DSTV on time. <laughs> You go to me as well. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, and um, we have um, a lot of other investments, but uh, agriculture and property is our main business. All right. Now that we are talking about, you know, property, right? What tips can you offer first-time tenants? If I'm looking for an apartment, you know, I recently got a job. Now I'm looking to move out of my parents' house. What tips can you offer me? Yeah, those are the exciting times I recall. Uh, but um, I think um, as uh, through my experience, mm -hmm. um, the tips that I would give for a first time um, um, rental is um, um, that you should define your needs because okay. um, sometimes maybe you don't really need that three bedroom apartment. Mm. Uh, do you have a car? Mm -hmm. You know, how far is it from your workplace? You know, um, Maybe it needs to be central. Maybe it doesn't have to be central. Um, do you need a quiet area? Yeah. Um, the safety should be considered. And also watch out for <laughs> scams because yeah. recently um, I got a niece of mine who was scammed because and some things are just too good to be true. And when she explained it, she was like, it looks so easy. And all of that. <laughs> so if you see a Porsche area going for six thousand, then maybe, yeah, you should be yeah. a little bit cautious. Yes. Yeah, and there's a lot of like real estate agents right now. Everyone is selling property. Yeah. Everyone is renting out property. So it's a good point that everyone should be cautious. All right, now you know as a as a homeowner or as someone with property that is looking for potential clients, how can one make their property more attractive? How can one make their, you know, rental place more attractive to potential tenants? All right. Um, I feel like different clients have different needs. Mm. So somebody really just coming out of college uh, will not really be able to afford um a posh place yeah. and you should have uh, different um, accommodation standards for different uh, groups. But I would say uh, the most common or the basic needs is that um, your place should be clean. Okay. Yes, yeah. it should really be a clean environment. Um, you should uh, look out for securities. Mm. I believe uh, safety should be a priority right now. Um, and then, um, so yeah, so it's safety, the cleanness, as well as the structure of the building. Yeah. How well structured is it? All right. Mm. Um, let's say now, what are the price ranges, I mean, for a good, like, rental place? Should that be determined by what a client can afford? Or should it be determined by the person who's leasing the property? For instance, let me say um, I am looking for a place to rent, right? Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to the pricing, what should I look out for? I mean, definitely we do have um, our prices already set up. Mm. But um, it also depends. Like, for example, if... Um, 
uh, if it's a block of flats okay. and there are a lot of flats, it's likely to be uh, cheaper than uh, if you were going to get a townhouse or a flat where by maybe you there they, they are only a few number of uh, flats because if there are a few number of flats then that means that um, it will be more quiet it yeah. will be more peaceful and of course it will come at a price mm. but also with us sometimes the prices are also uh, determined on how the economy is going oh okay yes. so for example if we put out um, a, a rental out there a place to rent and uh, we see that you know this place has now been vacant for um, a long period of time then uh, we look back and uh, we make adjustments okay yes and sometimes also from the client feedback when they call and they will say guys I mean the economy is really bad right now I can only afford um, you know um, how much of course uh, maybe right they will not agree uh, mm. but of course um, we will uh, then um, just look at all those feedbacks okay. and then adjust the prices all right mm. what type of properties do you have um, for rental currently so um, we operate both commercial and residentials mm. um, in the commercial space right now we have um, we have office uh, office space open in uh, Robin Mugabe okay. uh, streets. We have um, an industrial area in Sumeb. We have um, office space in um, um, Oshakati, mm -hmm. Rundu, as well as uh, Ketman Swap. Okay. And uh, residential, we have uh, Kalahari Villas available in uh, Klein uh, Ventuk. This is uh, really a posh, uh, yeah, like <laughs> soft life. Yeah, soft life. <laughs> and, okay. Yeah, and then um, we have Omuthia. Mm -hmm. We have uh, townhouses there, and we also have um, a house in Rondo. So I think when it comes to residential, we don't really have a lot now. But of course, um, as um, they become available, then uh, we also then. Uh, uh, place them on, on our social media. Yes. But, All right. Yeah. Now that you're talking about marketing in a nutshell, how can people get a hold of Kalahari Holdings should they want to rent out any property? So um, I would say um, you can contact us on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, on Facebook. We, um, you can also call us. Our direct line is uh, double two five triple three. Um, you can also visit our office in Eros, um Promenade and Street, and you can also uh, contact our property admin Johanna at Johanna. Um, Johanna, uh, her email address is Johanna at Kalahari Holdings. Uh, dot com. Do you have a website, maybe? Yes, we also have a website. So it's www.kalahariholdings.com. Um, um, All right. So even when you just Google Kalahari Holdings, it should pop up. It should it should send you directly to the website as yes. well. Thank you so much for joining us on my.na property and for coming to disseminate this information about rental. Thank you. Welcome to MyDotNA Cars, your ultimate destination for everything automotive. I am your host, Diana Master. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? Discover the latest models, innovative technologies, and expert insights from our passionate hosts. Learn essential maintenance tips and get exclusive behind the scenes access to the automotive industry. Don't miss MyDotNA Cars on NTV every Thursday at 2100 hours. Tune in and ignite your passion for automobiles. Color is magic, and we are at the paint division um, in uh, Pukovic Megaball with a sales assistant, uh, Joshua Crespo. Uh, we're going to show you all kinds of different paints, colors, products. It's going to be awesome. Just stay with us. If you want to paint the town red, this is the place. Uh, Joshua, colors galore here. Tell us a little bit about 
What seems to be the in colors at the moment? The in colors at the, the moment right now, it's mostly grayish colors. Uh, and people usually, especially inside, uh, mm -hmm. they go for off-white. Okay. Know, which is a light color. It brings the light more into the house. Precisely. Makes the house look bigger. So we have different grades of paint as well. We have a semi-matte, which is milder. dirt. Mm -hmm. um, it's highly washable. So let's say you have kids at home, they play and they like mess on the wall. You can just take a cloth, you know, wipe it a bit, it won't come off. Okay, okay. And um, I'm sure you get asked this a lot of the times because it's the women who come and pick the colors. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the husband's has got to execute it and then the woman often doesn't know yeah. exactly what type of paint she yeah. should be getting. Yeah. What, what what would you use a water-based paint for? Uh, as I said earlier, the, the Neoder, it's one of our best or is the best mm -hmm. we have. So you can usually use it on, on your wall. It's okay. so good as a multi-purpose. You can use it on steel as well. Really? Yeah, wow. you can. But just make sure that your preparation is always done. Like use a primer, you know, before you, before you, yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> and if you, for instance, want to paint, when, when would you use enamel, for instance? Enamel, um, we mostly give it for, for high traffic areas. You know, okay. Especially like in a warehouse or so. Because it's, oh, right. it's scratch resistant. Of course, and, and all that also stain resistant as well. Yeah. So for you, if I just want to paint the house, I'll go for an ordinary water-based paint. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. something I always wonder about you, and I'm sure you get asked a lot. Uh, somebody walks in here and asks you, "I want to paint an average bedroom. How yeah. much paint do I need?" Uh, usually, if you don't come with uh, your your mm. squares and all that. Uh, usually we estimate it, mm -hmm. you know, like normally for a small room, you know, we usually give five to ten liters okay. of paint, you know, but it also depends. Let's say you have a dark color on your wall, so usually we usually tell you to like break it down with a white primer, yes. so that when you apply your paint, you don't have to put extra, extra layers onto the wall. Okay, yeah. but all this preparation, uh, the, the the products that you need for preparation, you can also buy that here yeah, at Bookers. Yeah, everything. What, what, would, what type of preparation products would one need? Okay, so like for example, let's say your wall got a bit wet or so. Yes. So we have a product called New Cell Stop, which penetrates into the wall. Makes the wall dry and oh. gets the salt out of the wall. Of course. And then afterwards, you have to go with the primer, which you put one layer. And then we have the neo door. We also have the multi door. You can choose which finish you like. Okay. Well. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah. Then afterwards, you paint two layers of it. First layer, second layer, and then you're sorted. Of course, there were a lot of um, color samples here too. It's it's beautiful. You can I think your book actually. Yes. We do. Let me hold that for I'm you. going to leave one of these. Definitely get one because not only does it have beautiful ideas, but it actually has color cards here, uh, which is fantastic. Um, it, are, are all these colors, are they readily available or do you mix them here? Most of it. Mm -hmm. Most of okay. it are available. Standard colors on the shelf. And if you like something else, you may want to customize it a bit. Okay. That's where our color ATM comes in. We call it a color bar. You, All right. Yeah, then you can just choose from there. And, and then you, you mix, mix it. it and how long does it take on average? You say, I want five liters of paint mix. Yeah, sometimes it depends on the color as well. Lighter colors usually make, it usually takes faster. Let's say five minutes, four minutes. Oh, so you can stand yeah. and wait for it? Yeah, you can stand and wait for it. That is absolutely... Yeah. Riveting. And then, of course, all the accessories that yeah. you also need, the equipment, you've got yeah. that here. We've got that. We have, the, we have the crack filler. We also have a multi-purpose crack filler, which is repair paste, which you can okay. use it as, as party on your window, blazing party. Oh. You can use it as a crack filler. You can fill up um, steel holes that you have in your steel. Yeah. That's the place to be. <laughs> Come and see Joshua. He is a uh, paint and... D DIY, do you just yeah. <laughs> expert? Um, you can't get better advice.
to another exciting episode of Iran World Talk. We will at least be here and tell you about the very first year of Monster and Bay. back in the My Inner Property studio and as usual we have Risa Dreyer here from the company Wederkrio, the old Wederkrio, we're now Wederkauta. Wederkauta and Uweka. Yes. Welcome Risa. <laughs> Thank you Lemmy. It's becoming a tradition to be here. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm looking forward to seeing you weekly. <laughs> Thank you. Risa, another question that I want to ask today is um, different marriages in Namibia and how does it influence how property is purchased? Yes, well, that's a very important question because in all traditional ways, people were married just a normal in community of property and a husband and wife used to own property together. They are liable together for the property and there was no option to own it separately. That's also the way you know transfer documents are being signed at the bank and at our offices. So mm -hmm. both always needs to be present and you're bounded by your marriage actually because you are collectively your estate is regarded as one. Mm -hmm. But nowadays we've got the antinuptial contract. Oh, it's been an old thing, but it's becoming mm -hmm. more common that people decide to get married with an antinuptial agreement. Mm -hmm. And then you can own the half shares in a property. So you obviously reduce your massive transfer costs and you can own each half share in the property, although you apply for the loan as one entity or mm -hmm. a communal loan. So yeah, that reduces, you know, a lot of stress on the parties because your offshare will be yours and mine will be mine so we mm -hmm. are not liable for each other's debts and etc so yeah yes. uh, that's uh, one option and then you've got your foreign land marriages which mm -hmm. say for example you were married in south africa mm -hmm. then the laws of that country will still govern how you are being regarded here so you will be described as married according to the laws of south africa for example even mm -hmm. though you're married there by a and c mm -hmm. then usually the spouse needs to assist if you a sign anti-nuptial agreement. Mm -hmm. Yes, so if you sell land here and you were uh, bounded by an ANC in South Africa, then your spouse needs to assist you. So it's a bit of a detriment. Yeah, we, you cannot just assume that your ANC will be registered here the same way it was registered there. You need mm -hmm. to apply uh, through a conveyancing firm and register it within six months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the, you know, your traditional marriages like above the red line, which is the, run, the line that runs up to the north. If you're married above that red line, then a whole different set of you know, laws count. Mm -hmm. So you are regarded as se separate entities and you cannot be just regarded as in community or out of community of property. Yes. You, you've got a proclamation marriage or a red line marriage yeah. as we describe it. So mm -hmm. you, some people, they don't understand if you they got married there, then why do they traditional laws not count now? So, but it's governed by law and you need to figure out to get <laughs> married here yeah, or get married in the correct church with mm. a correct, you know, certificate there. Yeah. So that greatly determines how your property very, is very owned. Very, mm -hmm. I didn't know it. So I, I learned something new today. Well, that's good. That's why we're here. Like my mother said, you're never too old to learn. Yes. Well, something new. <laughs> I'm glad. So thank you. Thank and you, And I believe there's people out there that didn't know it. Well, I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. Well, we learn something every week. And therefore, I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm. Risa, thank you very, Welcome. very much. And I'll see you next week. Okay, bye. Bye, Danke. <laughs> That is all the time we had for you for this week's edition of My.NA Property. We will be back again next week, same time, same place. Please be reminded that this particular show is on DSTV channel 285 as well as Go TV channel 25. From myself, Aina Kweo, it's all my love, all my light. <laughs>